sippa, 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 sippa. Predators. Predators. <laughs> hey, welcome aboard. Today we're here to talk about something completely dangerous. You're driving a huge, I'm talking friggin' huge, motor vehicle weighing 3,000 pounds, a lot of steel, a lot of plastic, a lot of rubber. Dangerous stuff happens out there. People are trying to scam you. People are trying to hit you. People are trying to get in your way. People are trying to hurt you. It's a weapon. We do it every day, but we don't think anything of it, right? Yeah. Well, one of the big things out there right now is insurance scams. You ever hear about these? Scammers. Scammers. Not only is the road dangerous enough out there, when you got teenagers, you got people texting, you got people walking across the street without looking, you got people merging when they didn't look, you got all sorts of stuff. You got 94 year old people still driving, selling at uh, my other job. I know he's 92, he still drives, he drives his customers. I'm like, oh my god. Hmm. One time I saw him driving and he does the two hands looking over the wheel, yeah, seemed like he was driving normal. I honked and tried to get his attention, didn't even because I was going the other way. Oh, he didn't even see me, and I was like. It's better off. Just let him stare I'm forward. Distracted. Don't like do two things at once. Mm-mm. <clears throat> she's so, a, mm. she's a, there's a video of a guy with high beams in a storm, and you can't see beyond his high beams. And the moment he passes, there was a down tree, and he's like the driver on the other side of the road smashed right into it because it's like no way to see it. Ah, uh, that sucks. Those assholes. Yep. High beams, you got your mergers, you got your pullouts. Oh, I'm going to cut out and pull out in front of you and do 10 below the speed limit. Why did I do that? No way knows. You know that two man team where the car in front of you stops really fast and then the other guy smashes into you and goes, oh, blah, 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 blah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's a scam. Yep. So it's people don't realize these scams are that elaborate. Um, there's one that happened at my work. It wasn't to me, it was to the other driver. Um, it's a car parking or pretending to park and another car that's in front when he passes the area, the other car pulls out real quick. And what it is, is you either have to swerve into oncoming traffic or you hit the car. Yeah. Now you hit the car and they say, I was just pulling out and your guy hit me and the car in front will say, yeah, yeah, yeah he exactly. definitely did. Yep. You know, we're going yeah. there. And it's, no, they, they just pulled out into a car. They did that on purpose. Happened to uh, the other driver at work. Um, and he's a borderline idiot. Um, thank God he just started taking pictures with his phone. Um, yeah, record everything. Oh, car insurance wasn't in anyone's name that was involved in this. The other people had to leave. They didn't have any insurance information or last no name shit. or anything. Yeah. And the people who were hurt in the or in the car, there were two, a couple, or two people. I don't even know if they were in a couple. They're going to the hospital. They have medical bills they have to send, and they're going to have it reviewed, and they're going to try and sue the company. The company, the two people that. No, 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 no. My company, or oh. whatever, whatever company I work for, because it was our our driver for company. Huh. That's the other thing. You figure you cut out in front of a vehicle, like a work vehicle. Yeah, like a UPS, I mean, like in... a big money car, yeah. like a Mercedes. Yeah. You're like jackpot. I want to get run over by this thing. Bing. Couple toes. I mean, how much is that worth? Hundred thousand. You ever? Yeah. 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 Uh, maybe. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Maybe I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how these, the, um, these assholes work, though. You know, the other thing is, the um, you ever see the ones where you're at a stoplight and you pull up to someone and they throw on the reverse lights and ram into yep. your car mm-hmm. and then get out and go like this? Mm-hmm. There's now that dash cams are a thing. That's the funniest thing to try and bring yeah, me forward. Yeah, it's like he threw on his reverses and threw right into me. In fact, we're going to counter sue. He's like, pal, I didn't do that. It's like, we got a dash cam. So, so I, now every big company like UPS and stuff, it pays them to have those cameras. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I w- wouldn't tell them. So realistically, oh. in the situation like, um, mm-hmm. say you pull up a stop sign, there's somebody to the right and there's someone behind you and they're both on a team trying to screw you over. The person at the stop sign is going to fake fall onto your car like you hit them, like you bumped them and then they're injured on the way down. And the car behind you is going to confirm that, yeah, you hit them, mm-hmm. but you have a dash cam. So you're not supposed to really tell them that you have a dash cam. You just let them play their story and make sure when a cop comes, they tell their story. And then you eventually tell the cop that you have a dash cam. He confirms it and you give him a copy of the file. And then it proves what their story is is bullshit. 
So are you trying to say that, A, if you tell them right away, they won't push the case and you might run away they and, might, and do it to someone else? Yeah, they might run away and they might change their story. And it and they might, might be, just try and let it go and do it to someone else. They might get angry and attack you, yeah. Oh, that's true. Hmm. <clears throat> so how do you target these people or see that it's happening? I think Defensive driving. Right yeah. You have to defensively drive. Even... Even when it's not a scammer, because there's idiots out there. There's morons everywhere. Yeah, I'm not bragging, and I'm not a narcissist. I'm probably in the top five percent of skilled at driving, mm-hmm. just in my wherewithal, my reaction time. I've been doing it for how many hours? Do you think I've been driving? Probably a couple, four thousand, yeah. seven thousand hours, ten thousand. I have no Two, idea. Three. So I four. do it all the time. I do city, suburbs. I do all different vehicles. Stick shifts, not stick shifts, small vehicles, vans, vans over the weight capacity. So I know what it takes to drive and who pays attention and who doesn't. There's little things that you should do. You should always think of the flow of traffic in general and yourself. You have to be careful. You don't want to be endangering someone else. You don't want to endanger yourself. They say that the two turning lanes, you know, where there's two lefts and you get the double green arrow, real big intersection. Mm-hmm. Stay in your lane. Be careful. Scammers will also try and rub you in that intersection and claim that you crossed the line. The better your record is, the more you drive and don't have any of these problems, the better off you are. Helps your record. If you see something suspicious or something really weird, take pictures. Record it. Write everything down. Pull out your little audio thing. Just record it. I think you can do that in public, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. There's no, um, what was it? Uh, private property or something? No, Is no, that the no, rule? no. Not notion of privacy. Oh, it's, expectation yeah, of privacy. Yeah, expectation of privacy. Yep. In public space. So record. Exactly. Especially if something real crazy happened. And maybe it was your fault, but record it anyway, dude. Take some pictures. Take pictures of your car and their car. Because all of a sudden, there's going to be another dent in that car. Or, wow, her oh, cousin yeah. was in the car and had an arm in a sling. Oh, yeah, like, my neck hurts. Oh. cousin in the car. There's so many things that the people will complain about after the fact, even like mm-hmm. weeks or months later. They say this is a two years later, yeah, a, a big thing in like uh, in China and other countries. Especially okay. if, if I were tra- if I were driving in China, it would scare the crap out of me because oh, apparently I've seen some of those, oh, those traffic cams. That's yeah, crazy. People are really willing to hurt themselves in order to get you to pay up, and the insurance fraud apparently like the laws are really loose over there. So like any mm-hmm. damage to any person is like mostly covered by the law. Or at least it was. I think they might be changing it because of so many people just willing to throw themselves in front of a car. Or this podcast. Yeah, just right under the bus. Mm-hmm. All right. So we know who to look for. We kind of know how to avoid it. You kind of can't avoid it entirely. And don't put yourself in anything stupid situation. Like a uh, guy's got flares over on the side of the road and it says almost police mm-hmm. on his shirt. And you're like, well, he's almost police. Let's pull over and see what's going on. Like <clears throat> under, scam too. fake undercover cops. Yeah. That's so that, a real thing. that's a scary thing. I don't know that I would pull over for a, a cop that didn't have red and blue lights and a siren. Correct. Like a volunteer fireman type outfit. And like, uh, he's driving like no. his car and he has like a lighty stuck on top. Maybe, you know what you're you probably, do? you're probably call okay. 9-1-1. Yeah. Call 911 and drive to a police station. Yeah. That's what I would do. I'd be like, I don't think this guy's a real cop. And then 911 would be yeah, like, be like, I'm not dealing with this. I don't think they can put you in peril or are not supposed to anyway. So they're not going to tell you, yeah, he's definitely a cop. Like, I, I don't know that they can confirm it anyway. I don't know they can, but at least you have record that you were not yeah. running or ignoring or whatever the, the whole reason might be. So playing the there's our spiel. Whatever. That's, what, that's what we tell you to do. Yeah. The uh, And what was the last part of Predators? Avoid. Uh, prevent or avoid any sort prevent, of guilt or gullibility I guess certain yeah. cases people will feel like oh I really did hurt them like they feel some empathy towards them and maybe they get confused because there's so many people saying it happened because like usually it's like a, a group instinct to attack you feel like you're overwhelmed and maybe you say something wrong and then they just hone in on it and you don't know how to like back out of the situation so yes, like to. Don't don't feel bad for a real accident because it was an accident go slow yeah go slow do everything slow like i'm talking about the after the fact take your pictures you don't cope to blame yeah. don't cope to not blame don't fight someone don't what about road, road ragers you're gonna get in there with people that are genuinely angry 
like smashing on your window, don't get out of the car. Is that what they say? Yeah, if someone's like, well, because there's nothing's gonna happen. Usually they're yelling, "Get out of the car! Get out of the car!" You don't get out of the car. If someone's really that angry, it's okay to flee the scene. Is it? Is that what they say? I think you're 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 fleeing for your own protection at that point. If you're especially recording it and you have audio, like you have proof that you were like under duress, you need to get away. Right. Well, and it's a whole different world now that I have a kid. Like I can imagine. Mm getting in road rage and getting out and actually fighting someone. I would absolutely fight someone. I would have no qualms. Now I have a kid in the car. It, there's no way I'm going to leave him in a car seat and go out and fight someone because, yeah. A, if I win, I've just traumatized my kid. And, and I'm, like, leaving as an aggravated assailant. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, so driving through sketchy and areas? If I lose, that's even worse. Now my kid's strapped in my car and I'm unconscious on the ground bleeding because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Like GTA, no they try to steal your car. Do you roll up your windows in sketchy areas? No, never. But no. I, I drive in a sketchy area. Like that was what I drove you're, for a living. Used in a to sketchy it. Area. Did anything yeah. ever happen to you in the sketchy area? Just random weird stuff. Where if someone was like, "Hey man, can you roll down your window?" I'd be like, "No,", no. and I keep going. I just be like, "See it." Like you don't do anything stupid that's yeah. gonna put you in like a really bad spot. Someone's like, "Hey, can you pull over and help my friend? He's right up there." No, nah, that doesn't sound right. That's really weird. Yeah. Can he borrow your cell phone? No. <laughs> he has a cell phone. I'm pretty sure. There's people walking on the street left and right. Like, borrow it from them. I don't understand. Yeah, borrow it from someone else right now. So I think that's what we said. Just be careful. Keep your head on a swivel. Keep a lookout. Safe driving. When in doubt, pull out. Yeah. Repeat these. <laughs> Repeat that to yourself when in doubt. Pull out. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and report these people. Because yeah, you never know what they're going to do. Never know. Keep a record. So with that. Sa, 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 sa. Predators. Predators. <laughs>